What you're about to see is not a mild update, not a redesign, and definitely not a nice new truck. This is the moment the global pickup market shifts permanently. This is the moment the industry giants, Ford, GM, and even Tesla finally meet the competitor they cannot out-engineer, out-price, or out-strategize. Because China has just released a weapon disguised as a pickup truck, a machine engineered not to compete, but to dominate. And that truck is the BYD Shark. Not a concept, not a prototype, a real, production-ready, global market pickup truck built by the world's largest EV manufacturer. If you think this is an exaggeration, then buckle up, because the numbers, the technology, the pricing, and the real-world performance tell one story. The BYD Shark is the truck that kills the old world of pickups and exposes how far behind Western automakers truly are. Not in luxury, not in branding, but in pure engineering, efficiency, and value. To understand how we got here, you need to understand the market. For decades, Ford's F-Series ruled the world. The F-150 was the king, GM Silverado was the challenger, Ram was the stylish cousin. And for the longest time, anyone who suggested a Chinese pickup could stand on the same stage was laughed at. But the reason they're not laughing anymore is because the world changed faster than the old automakers did. Regulations tightened, fuel efficiency expectations grew, battery technology advanced. Consumers wanted reliability, lower running costs, and smarter vehicles. And while Ford was still celebrating V6 EcoBoost engines, while GM was still pushing 5.3-liter V8s, while Ram was still stuck in weight and aerodynamics problems, BYD was quietly building the most advanced battery supply chain on Earth, the same battery supply chain that now feeds the shark. And that's why this truck exists, because BYD didn't just build a pickup, they built a statement. China isn't catching up. China has arrived. First, the platform. The BYD Shark rides on BYD's new DMO platform, Dual Mode Off-Road, which is essentially BYD's answer to Ford's hybrid F-150, except more advanced, lighter, smarter, and designed from day one to be electrified. It combines a 1.5-liter high-efficiency turbocharged engine with two electric motors, powering the truck through a dedicated hybrid architecture. And get this, 40% of the powertrain's components are electrified, meaning it consumes dramatically less fuel while giving you instant torque whenever you need it. This is not a hybrid assist like the Ford Power Boost. This is not mild hybrid nonsense. This is a parallel serial hybrid with full electric torque vectoring, off-road traction control, and multiple terrain modes powered by electric motors that react faster than any mechanical 4x4 system. While Ford and GM still rely on heavy iron and old transfer case designs, BYD is using tech that adjusts torque at millisecond speed, giving the Shark climbing ability, sand performance, and grip levels that traditional trucks simply cannot match. And here's where the numbers become unfair. The Shark delivers 430 horsepower and 590 newton meters of torque. Let that sink in. A truck priced far below the F-150 Power Boost delivers nearly the same performance as a $70,000 American pickup. And because the electric motors deliver instantaneous torque, the Shark pulls harder off the line, accelerates quicker in low-speed terrain, and recovers traction faster than any gas-powered competitor. It hits 0 to 100 kilograms per hour in around 5.7 seconds, which isn't just fast for a truck, it's ridiculous for a truck of this size and category. The combination of electric and internal combustion torque means you're getting the best of both worlds, range, towing stability, off-road capability, and insane acceleration. If Ford built this, they'd charge $75,000. GM would sell it as a luxury model. Tesla would call it Cybertruck 2.0. But BYD? They made it affordable. And that's where everything breaks for the old giants. Now, let's talk about range, because this is where the Shark becomes a problem for every competitor. On pure electric power, the Shark gives you up to 100 kilometers of EV driving, enough for daily commuting without touching a drop of fuel. Combine both systems, and you get over 840 kilometers of total range. That beats the F-150 hybrid. That beats the Silverado. That beats the Ram 1500. 
and it absolutely destroys the Cybertruck, which is range-limited, heavy, and impractical in many markets. You also get BYD's ultra-efficient heat pump system, something Western automakers still struggle to perfect. It uses 30% less energy in cold weather, meaning the Shark maintains range consistently in all climates. And yes, the battery is BYD's signature blade battery, the safest lithium iron phosphate battery in the world with zero recorded thermal runaway failures. That means no battery fires, no explosion videos, no recalls, no drama. BYD has solved battery safety at scale, and the Shark benefits from the same industrial advantage. But BYD didn't stop at engineering. They attacked the core weaknesses traditional pickups refuse to fix. For example, interior technology. American trucks love to brag about big screens, yet most still rely on old UI systems, slow processors, and outdated map engines. The Shark uses BYD's Dialink smart system, powered by Qualcomm chips, with a rotating 12.8-inch display that can transform from landscape to portrait. You get 5G connectivity, OTA updates, wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, AI voice control, and a digital instrument cluster that actually makes sense. It's clean, modern, and intuitive. And unlike American trucks, nothing is paywalled. There are no subscription locked seats, no paid features, no nonsense. The climate controls work without subscriptions. The off-road functions don't expire. The ADAS features are built in. You buy it, you own it. And the build quality? This is where people who still believe Chinese cars feel cheap get shocked instantly. The Shark interior uses soft-touch materials, stitched leather, brushed aluminum look trim, and one of the cleanest dashboard designs in the segment. Panel gaps? Tight. NVH? Surprisingly premium. Seats? Supportive, ventilated, and heated. Even the rear passengers get proper space, something the Cybertruck never mastered. BYD benchmarked the Toyota Hilux for durability and benchmarked Ford for comfort, then mixed both strengths into the Shark. And if that sounds ambitious, the early reviews from Mexico, South America, Australia, and the Middle East already say the same thing. This does not feel like a Chinese pickup. It feels like a next-generation pickup. Now, let's get into the category that destroys Ford and GM the hardest, reliability and cost of ownership. Traditional trucks rely on large engines, heavy drivetrains, and complicated mechanical parts. Hybrids in America are new. Electric trucks are still experimental. But for BYD, hybrid systems are nothing new. They've built millions. They supply batteries to Toyota. They have more experience in EV and hybrid reliability than any American manufacturer. The Shark's engine runs at optimized RPMs, thanks to the hybrid system, meaning less wear, lower heat, and longer engine life. The electric motors handle much of the low-speed torque work, so the mechanical parts last longer. Brake wear is reduced thanks to regenerative braking. Oil change intervals stretch further because the engine runs less. And the powertrain has fewer failure points than a turbo V6 with a 10-speed automatic. Mechanics in the markets where the Shark launched have already noted how easy the platform is to service. And because BYD manufactures nearly every major component in-house, battery, motor, controller, software, parts are cheaper. No middleman pricing, no dealership inflation. This is the first pickup where a hybrid actually means lower long-term costs, not higher. But here's the part that terrifies Ford and GM right now, price. The BYD Shark is expected to start between $28,000 and $38,000 depending on the market. That means a truck with better tech, better range, better hybrid engineering, and better safety is priced below the base model F-150 XL. Think about that for a moment. A truck with 430 horsepower and 840 kilometer range. A truck with the safest battery in the world. A truck with electric torque vectoring a truck with more features than a $70,000 Ford Platinum, and it costs less than a base model fleet truck with steel wheels and manual seats. That's not competition, that's annihilation. And the reason BYD can do this is simple. They own the entire supply chain. Ford buys batteries from suppliers. GM buys chips. Tesla buys raw materials. BYD mines, refines, designs, engineers, and manufactures almost everything themselves. This gives them a vertical integration advantage that is unmatched, and the Shark is the first pickup to weaponize that advantage globally. 
So, who should fear the shark the most? The answer is simple, everyone. The Hilux and Ranger fear its efficiency and technology. The Tacoma fears its torque and range. The F-150 fears its pricing and reliability. The Cybertruck fears its practicality and global appeal. The Silverado fears all of the above. Because the shark is engineered to enter any market. North America, South America, Africa, Asia, Australia, and Europe, and immediately disrupt the pricing structure. It offers technology that Western companies still treat as premium add-ons. It offers safety systems that others cannot match. It offers performance numbers that shouldn't exist at this price point. And most importantly, it gives consumers something the old manufacturers stopped giving, value. This is not just a truck, this is a warning shot. A signal that China now owns the future of trucks, the same way Japan owned the future of small cars in the 1980s. Back then, Detroit laughed at Toyota, Honda, and Nissan until they stole entire markets. Today, Detroit laughs at BYD, and history is about to repeat itself. The Shark is everything traditional trucks refuse to be. Efficient, high-tech, reliable, affordable, and global. And while Ford and GM spend years dealing with battery recalls, hybrid failures, and rising costs, BYD is scaling production, widening distribution, and entering markets faster than anyone expected. As you watch this truck, you're not just seeing a new model. You're witnessing the beginning of a shift that will define the next decade of pickups. A shift where the giants fall not because they built bad trucks, but because they built trucks for the past while China built trucks for the future. The shark is not the end of American trucks, but it is the beginning of a world where they no longer dominate by default. The market now has a new benchmark. And it didn't come from America, it didn't come from Japan, it didn't come from Europe. It came from Shenzhen. If you're planning to buy a truck in 2025, this changes everything. And if this is what BYD is doing now, imagine what their next generation pickup looks like. Imagine when they release a full electric version. Imagine when they turn their battery advantage into towing advantage. Imagine when they export this truck globally at the same price they sell it at home. That's why the world is watching the shark. Because the truck that was supposed to be just another Chinese pickup is turning out to be the truck that exposes the entire industry. So tell me in the comments, if you had the chance, would you take the BYD Shark over an F-150, a Silverado, a Ranger, or even the Cybertruck? Because after looking at the numbers, the technology, and the price, the answer suddenly isn't so obvious anymore.